is Bunny. As she came in from uh, Easter time, we nicknamed her Bunny. She's been here for maybe a week now. One of our field officers was out checking on some other ponies in the Welsh moorlands and came across her, on her completely on her own, stood in the middle of the road. Our field officer tried to find some of the horses that she might have belonged to and they all kicked her away so obviously they weren't her family. It was obvious she was only a couple of days old so our field officer decided that the best thing for her at that time was to come into our care so that she could get everything she needed to survive. So our field officer took Bunny to a holding yard so that she could get fluids and a check over to make sure she was going to be okay. So once Bunny had been at the holding yard for a few days and she had everything she needed and a check over there, our field officer brought her here and she was really quite weak. So she was carried off of the trailer and as you can see she's very small but she's doing much, much better now. Yeah, so obviously we're about, we're a couple of weeks down the line with her. So initially one of the main problems that we have to be concerned about are whether or not they've had, they've received adequate colostrum, which is early milk at the right time, because uh, they get a lot of uh, really helpful things for their immune support from that. Before she came in here, she had all of those checks done and everything was normal from that. Going forward though, obviously, trying to get the right amount of milk into them um, to keep them well hydrated and give them good enough nutrition to, to grow and develop can be really challenging. Um, so what we have to do with an orphan foal or an abandoned foal is to feed them sort of every couple of hours which obviously is, is very labour intensive but it's good when you've got a good team here to do it. <laughs> um, and then really with that though becomes the problem that if we're interacting with the foals and they're relying on us or, or you know, people generally to be getting all of that nutrition, um, then they tend to struggle to develop their behaviour as a normal horse. So that's why you know, often we prefer putting them on a, on a foster mare where possible um, so that they can still develop that bond and, and realise how to interact with a herd and um, you know, how to behave like a horse. But, Obviously, sometimes that, that isn't an option. Um, and so where we can, we try and have a friend with them, someone to, who can teach them a few manners and help them learn how to be a horse growing up. So since Bunny's arrived at the farm, we've had to give her substitute milk feeds every two hours. So we've got a rotor and we're up in the middle of the night, 2 a.m., 4 a.m., making sure that she's drinking properly and getting everything she needs. So we're not quite sure how Bunny ended up on her own in the middle of the road. Her mum may have been young herself and not sure how to look after her, but we're just very grateful that our field officer happened to come across her and lucky that we could look after her and make sure that she's got a bright future ahead. So Bunny will stay here having two hourly feeds for a good few weeks until she's stronger. We'll gradually wean her off of the substitute milk and once she's fit, strong and had all her vet checks, hopefully in the future she'll be rehomed as a youngster. <laughs>